Today, we're going to show you how to create beautiful sunset coloring and light in Lightroom. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're showing you how to add a beautiful coloring and light to your photos in Lightroom. We're going to be warming things up a little bit, showing you how to color grade and even how to use radial masks to add a little bit of glow from the sun. So here we are in the Lightroom. You guys can download this photo and follow along. Just click on the link right down below. It's totally free. So we're going to start off with going to our general adjustments right over here. Let's go ahead and click here and go to our edit menu. And I'm going to start by bringing our color temperature just a little bit warmer. You can see it was on the cool side. We want this to be a little bit warmer, bringing some of that nice sunset coloring into our image. Now, these changes can be done at any time. So if you don't get it perfect at the beginning, no big deal. You can come back and do it again. I'm going to bring my tint a little bit to the left. It was just looking like a little bit too magenta. There we go. Just a little bit to the left, and that's looking pretty good. Now, my goal is here. I want the sky to like come down in brightness just a little bit, and I want it to have like some warm color, and I want my shadows to be a little bit brighter and have those be warmer as well. So we're going to do all that with color grading. Let's just move right over here to our color grading slider. Now, this allows us to work with our midtones, our shadows, and our highlights. So let's go ahead and start with the shadows. Now you have this little slider right here in the middle. You can simply click and drag that out in any direction. And as you see that I do this, it's actually changing the shadow color of my image. So let's go ahead and start with something like this, a nice warm color. Now, once you've already set your color, you can click here on this outside circle and start dragging that around. That's gonna change your hue. So you can change that at any time. And then you can click here on this inside circle and drag it from the left to the right, inner to outer, and that's gonna change your saturation or the intensity of that color. Now, right down here on the bottom is going to change the brightness. So you can make your shadows brighter or darker with this same slider as well. So I think this is looking great. Remember, we wanted our shadows to be a little bit brighter and to have some yellow in it. I think it's a little too yellow. So we're gonna click here where it allows us to adjust our hue and I'm gonna pull it right down here, give it a little bit more of a reddish orange color and then maybe a little less saturated. That's looking beautiful. So now let's go ahead and move on to our highlights. Remember, I want those to be a little bit darker and we want those to be warm in color, like a nice orange sunset color. So we're gonna move right over here to our highlights and the same thing. I'm just gonna click and drag out. We're gonna find a color that we like. Now I want this to be a little bit darker. So we're gonna click here and drag this down to the left. That's gonna make those shadow, the highlights just a little bit darker. And then we can kind of play, play with our color. I think this is looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit warmer. That's looking fantastic. Now, at any time, you can hit the slash key right above return or enter, and that's going to show you the before and after. So let's go ahead and click there. There's our before and our after. Already, we're looking really, really good. Now, I want to go work on our midtones just a little bit. It's a little bit too magenta for me here in the midtones. So let's go here where it says midtones. There we go. And let's go ahead and click this, and we're going to start pulling some colors into the midtones as well. Again, this is totally non-destructive. You can change these settings at any time. So don't worry if you're not sure what to do or you know if you're just kind of like going in here and poking around. This is a great place to play and have some fun. But I think this looks fantastic. So that's off to a great start. Now, I want to actually start working with the light of the image a little bit too because we have a backlit image. I want the sun to kind of like look like it's kind of like fading in and be more of a presence in this photo. So all of these tools that we've used so far, these have edited the entire image. Again, here's our before and our after. You can see big changes already, but I wanna edit just a certain area. And when we wanna do that, we wanna go into our masks. So here's how we get to our masks. We're gonna move up to the top right. I'm gonna to close down my editing tools and we're gonna go right down here to our masking tools. You can also hit M for masking. There we go. So let's go ahead and click there. We're gonna go down to a radial gradient because I wanna make something that's like the sun, right? So radial gradient, perfect. And now you're going to simply click and drag in the area that you would like to edit. So we're going to click and drag there. Now I can't really see anything right now. So I'm just going to take my exposure and bring that up. And there we can start to see beautiful, right? That's the area that actually gets affected. So you can start with exposure and honestly play around with any of these. One that I've found works really well for sunset coloring is by bringing our shadows and making those a little bit brighter. Okay. And you can even work on your color temperature. So if I want that to be even warmer there, I can do that too. Now I can click here. There we go. And move this around. So you can kind of see like my highlight area moves around as I create it. And we can click on these inner circles and adjust our feathering as well. You can also use this feathering slider right here. Now, I'm also going to go right down to where it says clarity. 
There we go. And I'm going to bring our clarity down a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit fuzzy. And we're going to bring dehaze down a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit more hazy because I want it to look like, uh, you know, like dust particles and things like that are in the air. So that's actually looking really good. Now, uh, I've got my overlay. You notice as I hover over, it look, has a green color. That's because when I go to show overlay, I've chosen this green color. Let's go ahead and click there. And I'm just going to go to the default, which is this red color. That might be more like what you see. But that's why we see that. So I'm going to just turn that off for right now so we don't see it. But that just basically allows us to see what area we're affecting. But as you can see, I can click and move this around at any time. And I can even make it larger. Let's say I want to click on this little circle there and make it a little bit larger. And then maybe over here on the right, I'm going to go up to the very top and adjust my feathering so we can kind of see how that looks. That's obviously very uh, not right. <laughs> so we're going to drag our feathering up and up and up and up just so it's nice and subtle. Now, we have our mask dialog. You can see this whole new dialog box propped up here where it says create new mask. This is the mask we are on with our radio gradient. And you can click on this eyeball right next to it to see there was before and the after. I think this is looking really, really nice. Now, let's say we want to do one more mask right here in the center to make it a little bit warmer and a little bit brighter. And that's going to be kind of like the center of our sunset. So let's go ahead and create a new one. We're going to go right here to create new mask. There we go. And I'm going to go right to where it says radial gradient. Perfect. We've got a new radial gradient here. Let's go ahead and click and drag out there. Boom. And this time we're going to bring our color temperature up nice and warm. There we go. Let's bring our shadow levels a little bit brighter. And we're going to bring our exposure a little bit brighter, too. That's just going to be like the center of that, uh, uh, of the sun. <laughs> the center of the sun. Let's go ahead and click here just to turn that off and on so we can see how that looks. I think we're looking really, really good. Now, here on this color, I want to adjust this just a little bit. I want to pull some of the magenta out of it. I, I felt like it was a little bit too much magenta here where the horses are. So we can go in. And as you can see, I can change the color and all these settings with these masks at any time. So now let's go ahead and turn those masks off and on to see the before and after. So right over here, we're going to go to our mask dialog. And I'm going to click on this eyeball. There's a before and the after. So you can see these masks make a huge difference, allows us to only affect certain areas of the photo. And that's all there is to it. So we can go ahead and turn our masks off. And then I'm going to use the slash key right above the enter or return to see our entire before and after. Here's our before and the after. Beautiful sunset coloring and lighting here in Lightroom. Don't forget all these tools are available on the mobile or the tablet version of Lightroom as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Hit that subscribe button if you want to get more free tutorials. Give us a like and send us a comment. It helps with that YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.